Welcome to Vintgata Wednesday. This week I've been having a fantastic visitor in Marius. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and most of you maybe know him as Darth Marius, the super TIG welding villain who welded this steel frame. True Marius behind the supervillain Darth Marius. Yeah, behind the mask. Yes. Yeah, well, I am uh, human. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. The, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah I'm I from, was not actually sure about that, so it's yeah, good stuff. I'm, I'm from Germany and I'm a mechanical engineering student. Yeah. And I play around with technology and making stuff in my free time. When do you think the Marvel Machine X will be finished? Oh, that's a tough question, actually. I think in the fall of this year, because we have so much done already this year. Yeah. The main structures and stuff is on there. And there are some frames missing, but they are already designed and ready to be um, manufactured. So it's mostly just putting on small things and adjusting things. And that's it takes a lot of time, but it doesn't take as, as much time as finding the solutions and thinking about how to do st certain stuff. Yeah. What progress did we make on the MMX this week? A lot of things. So when I wrote this list before you came, yeah. I choose the biggest bottlenecks of the situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just plowed through together this week yeah. and we made so much things. So this is a list of all the things we made only this week. There's a crankshaft. The hand protection wheel so Martin doesn't get his finger cut off. Bearing housings for the planetary gear set and the programming wheel shaft. Flywheel shaft holders. Then the flywheel and pulley and shaft itself. And this is an idler because we're gonna have a slack belt system. It's like a clutch between the crankshaft and the flywheel. Mm -hmm. The drive pulleys for that belt. The left side middle frame. So this is a really crucial part of the machine. This is otherwise we have to hang everything on Siemens skyhooks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I learned this from Morris this week. Uh, there's something called a skyhook. This is when you hang something mid-air. And the only one that works is the Siemens skyhook. Yes. So if you're shopping for skyhooks, <laughs> uh, Siemens. <laughs> that's, that's the important bit. Right side middle frame, and we're gonna make them from metal and not from wood. And the tabs to attaching those frames to the welded base frame, basically. And then we have the upper frame, and it's highlighted on this picture here. And that's holding the marble divider, it's holding the registrators, it's holding the whole upper piece together. And what you see on the screen here will be as a big puzzle piece that will go in a separate tour case and will be contained together on tour. The belt that drives the flywheel. Marble drop mechanism prototype and I have no clue why but it looks exactly like a locomotive. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> then some stepped pulleys um, for driving the, the vibraphone shafts. We made some uh, prototypes from that. Hannes was also here this week and filmed with us, uh, so that was really, really nice. So here you can see Marius working on the 3D printer and Hannes thinking about the next shot. We made the visual lifting fingers. I have them here. So this is the Tim Burton-esque design. They are gonna go up on the machine up here. They have no mechanical uh, function. They are visualization of how the machine X works and adds tons of character and what they will do is that they will move a lot. So for every marble that gets dropped, they will move this much. And the real thing that drops marble sit here barely moves when it drops the marble. So even if you're 10 meters away, you wouldn't see that. So that's why we're adding this whole system. There it's on the screen and here it is in the real world. Yeah. It's crazy. Something you can see on these sketches is that the gears have no teeth. So we just make an abstraction of the shape that has the right outer dimensions. Mm -hmm. But we don't have all these details because it gets too graphics processor intensive yeah. for the computers to render everything when we're working in, in Fusion 360. 
So here you can see a perspective. The doll is 1 meter 87 centimeters, which is exactly my height. Mm -hmm. So this should be the scale of the Marble Machine X. I feel that we have like wrestled down the Marble Machine X yeah. psychologically. We have it, the, the judge is like counting, it's soon 10, <laughs> and it feels like we're on, on top of it. What is the best future source of energy? Um, the sun. If you were offered a trip to Mars, would you go? No. <laughs> what is parametric design in CAD? And CAD means computer aided design and in Fusion 360, I am designing almost often a shape. And now when I see Marius works, he's doing parametric design. Yeah. And there's a whole different world and it's so fascinating and fantastic. What is it? So parametric design is especially uh, useful if you have a thing that looks kind of similar, but has different sizes, basically. If you have a shaft, for example, with something on the end, that's the different sizes. So you have, let's say you have five, six different length, and then you have to make models or pr produce all of them very easily you just have to type in the length and then that thing generates automatically it's if you if you model it in parametrically and you change something it moves in a more predictable manner so it changes it itself in a more predictable manner than if you just model it free modeling it's basically when you're anticipating a design to change in the future mm -hmm. You can make the general shape, but it will still be very easy, easily to change its dimensions yeah. afterwards without having to go back and do it all over again. Yeah. What do you think is most important for succeeding in any field? Talent or hard work? That's... yeah. I think you need kind of both. The talent is just... if you're just good at it, and then you don't need as much hard work, but I think you need both actually. Uh -huh. If you're really determined to do something and you have the drive to do something, then hard work gets you there. The reason why I asked is I think uh, that talent is little is overrated. Because I remember growing up playing music and I remember I was always worse at all the tests in schools yeah. and I tried to get into fancy music schools in Sweden and I was the only one of my friends who couldn't get in because I got zero <laughs> points on the okay. test. And I was like, ah, oh, music might not be anything for me and I have no talent. Yeah. That's why it's a little bit personal for me. And then I realized that if you put the hard work in, you will get there. Let's say you are talented, then yeah. you also need to be lucky if yeah. you're gonna succeed from that but if you're hard working you don't need to be lucky you eliminate the luck uh, thing in the whole situation yeah. by just taking control of the situation yourself yeah. don't think that you can't do anything because you feel you have no talent that's a little bit what yeah, I'm so, so, yeah that's the, I think that's the main thing to take away if you if you really want something you, you can achieve it actually yeah <laughs> Why do you think it takes so long to build the Marble Machine X and what can I do to change my approach to make it faster? It's... I think... It, yeah, it's a really complicated machine so I don't know how much faster we can go. It's Sometimes we can try to optimize things and try to move things along more effectively but I think it's a combination of a lot of things like the procrastination of both of our parts and the other big one that you always bring up is that filming a video at the same time yeah it's gonna take double the time and yeah it's not not that much that we can do about it another reason why it takes a long time is that i really have the will to do something that is surprisingly awesome it's it it needs to be history changing for me to be interested and i don't want to sound cocky when i say that it's just and that that's just the low that's just a passable level What's the challenges when compromising between different perspectives? And I mean engineering versus aesthetics in us. Sometimes the easiest way to build something is not the most beautiful way. And we're struggling yeah. a lot with that. Yeah, so that's the thing. What goal does the marble machine have? So one thing is that it works. The second thing is that it makes good music. And the third thing is that it looks good on stage. Mm. So it's kind of one of the big points every part has to, to take off the list to pass the test to be put into the machine. <laughs> What's the worst thing about Midgard and Wednesday's videos? That you get so stressed about them. Ah. Uh. I don't... yeah. 
I think, think they're nice actually. Okay, but I, yeah, the, 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 that, the, the, so, so being on the build team, I, I, I kind of feel how the, the, the stress that comes from those videos. You're right. It, the, the videos are 24 seven on the top of, of, yeah. of my head, but I'm getting to the point where it's really important for me that the video making isn't completely in the way of the project. Yeah. I have to find the balance because I really want to tell you what's happening. And I really want to do this. I love it. And yeah. I love the response from the viewers. But I also want to get the machine start playing music. So I need yeah. to find a better balance. You're, you're right with that, actually. Yeah, and that's for me, it's the luxury of not being the guy who makes the videos and being you. Because I, I'm only here for making the machine. Mm. I don't really have to think about some video aspects or how to, how to set something up or how to update all you guys. But um, yeah, other than that, the quality is always at least possible, possible. <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending on how, how much time Martin or Hannes has of, of making the video. It's so engineering language. The quality is always at least passable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes it's really, really good and sometimes it's only passable. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't flunk the single video, so maybe I can balance it with even more focus on moving the project forward and maybe I will flunk a video or two. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's something to look forward to. <laughs> well, that's, that's a very nice way of seeing it. Yeah. Next question. This is something I always wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you prefer compression springs over expansion springs, actually? Yeah, it's... So, so it goes back to one of my professors, but basically the compressing springs don't have a built-in weak point where they can break. Any advice to beginners who wants to get into engineering and or making? So for making, it's easy to just pick a project, find parts for it or a kit and just start doing it. Don't worry about the, the uh, tools you need. I, I wouldn't recommend buying a tool and then deciding a project. Just pick a project you want to do, like... Maybe you always wanted to make a Star Wars helmet, for example, and then find out how to do it and then just try to do it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with the deciding the project first and getting the tools second. Yeah. My advice would be talent is overrated, so don't underestimate what you can achieve by thinking that you don't have any talent for it. Hard work will take you where you want to mm -hmm. go. Sullivan, the snooker player. He's called the Mozart of snooker and when he walks into the stair down to the arena in front of thousands of people to play the world championships final, the announcer says he's the most naturally gifted, talented player who have ever graced a game of snooker. His fans are calling him genius and Mozart of snooker and Ronnie, in every single interview I've seen with Ronnie Sullivan, he says stop calling me a genius I have been chained to the snooker table every day since I was eight years old. I've put the hard work in. And I made a cat poster in inspiration from Ronnie Sullivan. Try using the term genius less often. It's an insult to great work ethics. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's because I have, I've heard that story three times already. <laughs> it gets more and more interesting every yeah. time. <laughs> you fill in a lot of details every time. That's funny. Okay, now I have to fix my hair just because you interrupted me. Sorry. <laughs> so, I just wanted to tell you all that uh, if you want to see Marius make actual CAD work on the Marble Machine X live and ask him questions, mm -hmm. uh, go follow him on Keating Mare, Kiting Mare so, at twitch.tv. So it's twitch.tv slash Mare. Yeah, I put a link in the description. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Marius Twitch channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks for, I, I said it in the short time, thanks for saving my life. Yeah, no uh, problem. <laughs> I have two feelings. I have the feeling that I'm so tired. Yeah. I've been spending four years of building marble machines. It's 
I just want to get to the music part now. Actually, I'm actually a little bit bored with building, which I think is a good thing because that means when I love building, I create more problem solving than I need to create. Yeah. And now I don't want to feature grip. I don't want to create problems just to keep myself occupied. Mm-hmm. I just want to finish this. Yeah. So I'm that I'm tired of it after four years. It's just maybe a sign of sanity. Mm-hmm. And I just want to get to the music part. My other feeling is that I can't really grasp how cool this is going to be. <laughs> this is going to be history changing yeah. when we get this to work. And the Marvel Machine X would never be what it's going to be without Marius. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Then, thanks for watching. Yeah, and you can actually see Marius building this steel frame in this. We made a whole metal song just for the sake of a tight video title pun. There. It's here. <laughs> And uh, so that's the introduction to Darth Marius. Mm-hmm. You're. Uh, it's a it's a funny video actually. I really like it. I like it too. It's a it's completely different music style than everything else. But yeah. Yeah. It's the dark side of Marius. Yeah. It's kind of sad that thick welding doesn't produce sparks.